Hey guys and welcome to a new video. I am emotionally attached to my stuff in a variety of ways. Stuff that I have had used or never used or stuff I've simply enjoyed. I often find myself talking to my stuff, eating with my stuff, and sometimes just hugging my stuff. I mean, I have all this stuff from college and boxes that follows me around from move to move. And I have a lot of gifts and souvenirs friends and family gave me. I mean, I can't face myself getting rid of any of my stuff. We sometimes form a connection with the things around us, especially those we personally own. Psychologists refer to this as the endowment effect, that we tend to place extra value in an object simply by owning it. In other words, they're special to us because we own them. But that is not the only case here. We sometimes feel that these objects connect us to the things we feel strong emotions about. Simply because they're more than mere objects and I guess we all kind of agree on that. Our possessions become extensions of ourselves and we include them as part of our identity and sense of self. We all probably have that favorite shirt or mug that we favor over similar items just because we subconsciously view it as part of who we are. We become attached to certain objects to satisfy certain emotional needs and the threat of losing any of it makes us very anxious because it threatens our self-worth. Stuff can be divided into two groups. Group one is the just in case I need them kind of a stuff. And as the name suggests, this is the stuff that takes up space, makes things harder to find, and makes things harder to clean. I mean, how many things have you owned for many years under the theory that, oh, let's keep it. I might need it someday. I'm definitely guilty of this as well. I have empty boxes and bags and stuff just in case I need it. I have things that don't work that I'm going to fix or have fixed one of these days. Group two is the stuff that gives us sentimental significance. You probably have pictures, birthday cards, mementos, and items that remind you of things. Let's agree that some of those things are probably buried in closets and wouldn't be looked at unless you happen to move or stumble upon them accidentally while looking for something else. But still, those items have a ton of meaning to you. Let me end my video with this question. What if all of your stuff was destroyed or stolen? If your body is experiencing a rush of adrenaline right now, then I can feel you and I can relate. But if not, then you are probably watching my video and you are like, what that sentimental heck is she talking about? I know humans have different levels of sentimentality and that is totally understandable. The human me thanks the human you for watching this video. And yeah. Stay emotionally attached to your stuff.